Do you hate interviews and want to be better, but don't like practicing with other people? Well, I've got a free tool for you. Hi, I'm Stuart Redhouse and I am a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And today I want to talk to you about a new digital skills initiative that Microsoft, LinkedIn and GitHub have just released. Now, there is a brilliant blog post if you go to aka.ms forward slash digital skills initiative. Uh, on here, it tells you all about what we're doing, why we're doing it. Um, but, but basically what has happened is due to coronavirus and COVID-19, uh, lots of people have lost their jobs uh, or organizations have closed down. And we're really trying to jumpstart that, that market and allow people to skill up for the most in-demand jobs that we see that are out there today from all of the analytics and data that we pull it out across uh, LinkedIn. And there's a fantastic video with Satya Nadella, Brad Smith, and uh, LinkedIn CEO Ryan Milansky, where they talk about all of the things that they're gonna do. COVID-19 has created both a public health as well as an economic crisis. As we move from the initial emergency response phase to the recovery phase to the reimagined phase, determining what should be rebuilt, what should be redefined, we need to ensure that no one is left behind and address the needs of those most impacted by this crisis. But some of those things are uh, that we've made a whole load of free learning path content uh, for the 10 most in-demand jobs. So things like software developers, sales reps, project managers, IT administrators, customer service specialists, digital marketing specialists, IT support, data analysts, financial analysts, and graphic designers. And all of that learning content is free. You can look at all of those things. There's also a whole load of stuff on kind of soft skills or power skills, as some people call it, uh, on ways that you can kind of motivate yourself to get back into work and, and, and things like this. Um, there are low cost certifications, so we're lowering the cost of a whole range of certifications and exams. So if you need to prove competence in that, it makes it a lot easier. But the one that I want to talk to you about today is a tool which helps you to prepare for interviews. Now, you can get to this at opportunity.linkedin. Dot com. And this is where you can find all of those things. Also, the uh, the skills for the in-demand jobs, uh, the ways that you can search and apply for jobs. So there's a new badge that you can put on your profile in LinkedIn, which makes it really obvious to people that you're looking for a job. Um, and then there is this uh, interview preparation one. So prepare for interviews. Now, great resource in here. Nobody likes interviews. Um, but, you know, we, we've all got to do that. Um, and some people don't like to practice in front of other people. So we've got a fantastic, so we've got some LinkedIn courses to help you be able to do that, especially with video interviews, which we're seeing a lot more and will be new to a lot of people. Um, but we've got this fantastic tool here with uh, Powered by AI that allows you to practice that and it will give you some real time feedback. So I'm going to have a little go on this today. So I've gone to opportunity.linkedin.com. Uh, I've clicked on get started. Okay, and you can see here, uh, there are the 26 most common questions uh, that are around you about, about your personal, uh, personal ability, etc. So what I'm going to do is, uh, why should we hire you? So I'm going to click on this. Now, there are um, things like there's an answer framework that helps you to do that. So you can click through here. There's a, a video example, so you can really work on that. So once you've looked and researched that, that question, so you really have got a good idea what you're going to do, there's this button here which says practice and get feedback. So I'm going to click on this um, and you can record a video or write a response. I would suggest that you record a video because it's uh, that's how you're going to come across in a, in a video interview. So I'm going to click record a video. I'm going to look over my camera over here because that's where it's picked up from my, uh, my camera. And it looks for a few things. So what I'm going to do is make sure that this switch is on and I'm going to click three, two, one. So why should you hire me for this role? Absolutely. I think I'll be a fantastic candidate. I'm really, really excited about being customer success manager at Microsoft. Uh, everything that I do is about Microsoft and about making customers succeed. I'm incredibly customer passionate about customers and making them, uh, making them uh, uh, successful. Uh, and, and, and all sorts of things like, um, like, uh, so I've, I've worked with customers to, to identify, um, things that they, where they've got technical challenges that, that stopping them from working really well, um, and, be, and being the best that they can be. Um, but absolutely, you know, I am, uh, if you're looking for the right man for the job, then, then I am, I am your man. Um, 
absolutely uh you know it, you, i've got the manpower and and and, and I'm, I'm great at the role um and everything that's everything so i just i just love everything about customers and uh, i would definitely uh, be the right person for this role so we can see that that was a really painful watch there in terms of uh, my interview skills uh, and if you're looking to uh, look at this video as something as an example of whether you should hire me I definitely do not recommend you should uh, use this one uh, but we can see here that on LinkedIn it's given me a preview so it's 143 words per minute it's talk about filler words sensitive phrases and it's given me some answer tips so I'm going to save my video answer there and it's going to upload it to uh, LinkedIn and, and do some additional processing on it uh, and then once it has uploaded so here it goes so it's going to go and do some processing so but while it does that we can see here that it's saying the pace is uh, it probably is averaged out a little bit on the fast side um so i would like to say that a little bit slow it's talked to me about my filler words and it's actually given me timestamps in that um where you could kind of go back and look and say did I, did I say you know and then i could go and look back at 39 seconds and uh, find out about that uh, it's also picked up that i use sensitive phrases so i said the word manpower um, so instead of saying manpower it says try saying workforce um, it's given me a tip on avoiding filler words like um like and you know so lots of stuff there and we can see how now that it's processed my answer as well so one of the really powerful things is whilst i might not want to do a face-to-face -face practice with someone i might want to say right actually i think this is my refined answer and i'd really like to request feedback so i'm going to click request feedback and uh, let's say that i might want to let's say that i might send it to my wife uh, for feedback and here you can see that it has already kind of picked up a whole load of it's put in the text for me automatically and then I can just send that across to her and then she can look at that example uh, give me some feedback and come back to me by text so it's a lot less pressure for me to be able to look at that so uh, so really really great tool um, I think will do lots and lots of good. I would definitely encourage you to have a look at the blog post at aka.ms forward slash digital skills initiative for those learning paths, uh, for the uh, tips on how you can make sure that your profile stands out on LinkedIn and definitely for the AI power interview uh, prep tool. So all the best in your job search uh, and I'll see you on another video.